100% Chelsea, Crystal Palace 2, Chelsea 1. A scoreline which I honestly didn't think I would be saying come the end of today. What happened? That's my first question. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't at the game, I was following it online, I was listening to the radio, I was looking at Twitter, I was looking everywhere. I came and listened to it on the radio and stood here where, where we're filming for, I think, the last 20 minutes or so of the game. Coming through those doors, saw about 20, 30 people within the first two minutes. The first two minutes. Now, ironically enough, it's a very different story to how I was feeling two years ago, pretty much the day um, when we lost to Southampton, moaning at people for, for leaving early. We are performing poorly, and when it comes to your money, you can do what you want. But overall, people gave their heart, they gave everything, and to see and hear what, what happened today is far from what we should be seeing as Chelsea fans. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we are entitled. I'm not saying I believe we deserve the world. What I am saying is that on paper, the squad we have, the money we have, everything that's fallen into place. City just gone and battered someone 7-2. They just battered Stoke 7-2. A few years ago, that was us. Wigan, Wolves, Aston Villa just wiping the floor. We had hunger, we had determination, that's completely gone. That's what I feel anyway. The last two times we've won the league, the season after, we have not performed. Now, call me a cynic for saying this might be very early on, this may be very early doors. However, <laughs> Crystal Palace, City, fair enough. Fantastic team, don't get me wrong. They're playing very well at the minute. Still not for me to think win the league, but either way, it doesn't matter. They're the ones that are playing well. I'm not the one to be judging them. I'm the one to look at my own team and sit there and go, what the hell is going on? Willian, having lost my mother myself, it is impossible for him. A year on as well. A year on. So he's had, his, he's had his whole life. I struggle, and I was six, and I still struggle, and I'm nearly 20. William lost his mum a year ago. Of course his head's not going to be in the right place. Realistically, it's not. Hazard didn't turn up, apparently. Look at following. I'm looking on the tickers. Don't see Hazard anywhere. Masunda comes on. My, my, my apps, everything, Twitter is exploding. We're looking absolutely fantastic. And then I am coming out and hearing everybody saying exactly the same thing. The substitutes performed. We didn't perform. It is unfathomable to think that we haven't learned from our mistakes over the, well, those two, two years pre previous to this. 15-16 was without doubt one of the worst seasons I've ever seen as a Chelsea fan. This isn't the 80s anymore before people say as well, you should have seen us in the 80s. Yeah, I get that. We were crap in the 80s. I understand that. We're not in the 80s anymore. We're a team which has huge, huge, huge financial backing. We're a team that has world stars, some of the best players in the world, playing for us. Supposedly, Eden Hazard, Alvaro Morata, all these names, star-studded. You want them on the back of your shirt when you're a kid. But they don't have the heart of Zola. They don't have the heart of Lampard. They don't have the heart of John Terry. There is something missing. I'm not saying it could be leadership, there's so, but there is something missing from that team. Because it seems to me like there wasn't somebody who was pulling them by the scruff of the neck in that game and saying, what the hell are you doing? Credit to all the Chelsea fans today. Stood here, this, this stand here is where they were. The Palace fans, as always, huge amounts of noise, absolutely fantastic. And you cannot fault the Palace fans. Palace deserved the win today. End of. Simple. They turned up, we didn't. But the Chelsea fans today, they should have been on the pitch. Because I'm pretty sure they've got more of this. More of this when it matters. And that's, what miss that's what's missing in this Chelsea team. A lack of leadership. A lack of heart. A lack of passion. I'm not going to go and F and blind. I'm not going to go and yell and say, we were absolutely this, we were that, we were that. You know what? We could have stayed measured. Because we've got Roma, Watford. Man Roma away again. Then Man United. The next four games, next four games for me could make or break this season. I've already written off the title. Forget the title. That's gone. As it goes, 
Chris has even summed it up perfectly. He just said it now, we're not going to get top four. We are at risk. Four points out of nine. A loss to City, where we didn't turn up. A draw with Arsenal, where we didn't turn up. We beat Spurs in the last minute, very lucky. Two of those games are at home. One was away. We won the away game. So against Spurs, all we need is a draw at home. But we now need to go to these grounds and win. That's what you need to do if you want to be up there. As well as that, forgetting about the teams up there, this team's still bottom of the league. Can't even beat them. So if you're going to do a whole argument on paper, we need to quickly have a look at what's going on there. I hope Antonio has given them a proper hair dryer treatment, because right now it's what they need. It is without doubt the most shocking performance. Credit this guy, obviously a Crystal Palace fan. Well done, they deserved it today. At the end of the day, we're just going to look forward to the next game and see what we can take from it. Don't know, guys, make sure you subscribe to 100 Chelsea. All social media links down in the description Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, make sure you check out my socials as well and ask me any relevant questions, anything you want to know about today's game, or any more of my thoughts. It's a long journey back for me. It's a long journey back for all of us. But let's kick on and try and stay positive. Take care, guys, and I'll see you very soon.